so guys I'm not sure if you if I got a good angle of that or not but uh, on that last job that I just cut uh, Shane Shane almost got ran over so What's going on everybody? Ed here with JH and Sons Landscaping. Um, welcome back to the channel. So today's Tuesday. I've been having a lot of uh, like uh, stuff going on uh, for the past couple days in the mornings. I've had some appointments and uh, so we're getting off to a, another late start today. It is 10.30 in the morning. Um, usually we start at 8 a.m., 8 a.m., but it's 10.30 in the morning, and uh, yeah, so uh, I've been having some doctor's appointments because uh, I've been having some problems with my sleep, so I found out that I have sleep apnea, and um, I had to go pick up my uh, CPAP today, so that's kind of what's been going on with me and why we've been starting late for the past couple days and so um, yeah also want to give you guys a little update on the mower situation so the mower's still halfway disassembled and um, waiting still waiting for parts the part that we needed was on back order, so um, apparently it's supposed to be here on Wednesday, but we'll see if that happens. Uh, but we probably won't have that machine until next week because we'll probably end up fixing it this weekend. Uh, so today, I'm not too worried about being behind. We're actually still behind from yesterday seven jobs but i'm not too worried about being behind because um i have a feeling that this week we're going to end up having a bunch of cancels and skips so like uh this job right over here i don't know if you guys can see it this one right over here is all dry and it looks like it was just cut. That one is two weeks long. So those are due for today. And then we have a couple down the street. Um, so I'm just waiting for the guys because I just got back from uh, the medical supply place. So I'm waiting for the guys so that we can get off to work today. So I had them uh, just come late and we're just going to have a late start. I'll try and get some uh, footage and I'll let you guys know how many skips we get if we get any. I have a feeling we're at least going to have uh, that one. Maybe a couple. It depends because you can't always go by what the front yard looks like. You know, you got to look at the whole property because it, the backyard could have grown. You can't just drive past a property based off of the front yard so um, we'll take a look at some of these jobs and we'll see we'll see what we end up doing today but yeah it is what it is we'll get as much done as we can and uh, you know I'll take you guys along with me and uh, well I think we got with the seven, we have 29, 29 scheduled for today with those seven from yesterday. So uh, yeah, we'll probably fly through them and uh, we'll, we'll easily be able to probably finish today. If not, then, you know, it's no big deal because 
we'll probably end up with cancels on Wednesday, probably end up with cancels on Thursday, Friday, you know, so Friday, for whatever reason, our Friday schedule uh, started drying out sooner than our other areas. Um, but yeah, it's been, geez, it's been what, like maybe three weeks or so since we've had even a drop of rain. So um, there's only so much that the morning dew is capable of uh, achieving, especially, uh, you know, since we don't, we only had a couple of nights that got down low enough to be able to even produce morning dew. So uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, I'll get on with the day. I'm not sure if, if I got a good angle of that or not, but uh, on that last job that I just cut, uh, Shane almost got ran over. So you got to be aware of where everybody is on the yard, you know. Sometimes when you're in the middle of it and, you know, everybody's trying to get done and do their part, you lose track of each other. and. He thought that I was going to keep going straight and uh, I thought that he was going to stay out of the way and I backed up and uh, we almost had an accident. So be careful out there and try and be aware of each other and try and always stay safe. So I'll have to talk to him about coming too close to me while I'm mowing and I'll have to be um, more watchful. You know, you get comfortable around each other and you start to be too comfortable. And then that's when things happen. So uh, we'll have to be more careful in the future and uh, try, try and be more aware of where each other are at.
just want to show you guys. I'm skipping this backyard. Just didn't grow. <clears throat> we cut this front yard here. We're skipping that front yard. every two weeks guys make sure you clean off the neighbors driveways you don't want the neighbors being mad at you I cut that one So this one here, these people just bought this property and um, it was funny because they bought the property and uh, the house, the grass wasn't cut for like a month and it was really long. And then after we cut it, um this is the back here then after we cut it the new homeowner um was out fertilizing and they put an entire bag of fertilizer an entire 50 pound bag of fertilizer they put on that front yard. They put 50 pound bag of fertilizer on that front yard. I'm surprised it's even, even still alive. Yeah, I'm surprised it even survived that. Uh, there's a couple spots that got burnt, but they put a ton of fertilizer on there. So, all right, guys. So, uh, Let me know what you guys do when it's uh when it's dry. Right now I'm making the choice to skip jobs just because uh for one we're behind and for two I don't want to make people mad at me. So um it's close to the end of the season and people are going to start dropping us anyways so i really don't want to make them mad at me uh right at the end of the season so uh let me know what you guys do and we're gonna keep plugging away and uh see if we can get some more jobs done but we um finished up our monday work which was seven jobs and we just started Tuesday stuff so uh, we'll see how things go it's tough because we usually work from um, 8 
a.m. until about 5 p.m. depending on the day and how much work we have um, and we try and stay in that schedule so we're backed up and and uh, you know when we get backed up we usually work late but uh, I have some stuff going on that I'm not going to be able to work late so that makes things a little bit difficult but like I said we'll, we'll be cruising because there's going to be a lot of skips and there's going to be there's going to be like hardly any trimming so it makes things a lot faster
finished up for the day and uh, we completed everything. So we ended up having 11 skips because of dry um, grass. And we ended up cutting two half jobs because of um, because of dry grass as well. So yeah, man, it really is dry around here. We we need rain pretty bad. And um, around in our area, nobody irrigates. So uh, when it dries out, it's it's done you know there's no nobody nobody irrigates around us so um, people that say get jobs that irrigate there's no one no one not even in uh, high class like homes nobody irrigates around here um, I wish they did but Unfortunately, the only only uh, places that irrigate are the the big uh, commercial properties, and we focus mainly on residential uh, properties. So um, we don't do any commercial properties really. We do one commercial property, which is a church. So it makes it tough when it starts to dry out. But like I was saying the other day, we've had a pretty good season and um, it's the end of September right now September 24th and um, you know it's been coming for a couple weeks and we, with the way the, the weather was a few weeks ago where it was raining every couple days um, I thought that we would get all the way through into leaf season with uh, without having any skips but this week turned out to be um, the week that the jobs stopped growing so we'll see how it goes um, I'm assuming that tomorrow tomorrow we'll have a few cancels and uh, Thursday maybe probably Thursday those jobs grow pretty good so um, we'll see Friday we'll probably definitely have some cancels so um, you know maybe we'll get a chance to catch up on uh, some of the side work that we have that's been uh, like my uh, my dad's been pretty backed up with the side work so once we get a little bit of extra time like and we get start getting done early uh we'll be able to start helping him with bushes and stuff because he right now he's doing uh aeration and seeding and he's got some bush jobs that he's been uh pushing back because he's been trying to get his seeding jobs done so um we'll see what what we end up doing uh to make up the time but you know it's not that big of a deal I don't mind getting home early um, you know you work really hard all summer and uh, sometimes days when you get to go home a little bit early are nice so uh, I mean you lose work or well you're not making as much money because you're not working as much but sometimes it's worth it it's nice to be able to get a little bit of a break because uh, sometimes you feel like you're burning your candle at both ends and that little bit of a break helps you recharge your batteries and then you know as well as the cooler weather makes it more enjoyable uh, to be working outside the cooler weather makes makes it a lot more enjoyable so uh, I'm gonna pack it up for the day and we'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully uh, we'll have a good day tomorrow and I'll be able to get 
pretty good amount of uh, footage in for you guys. Oh yeah, and then um, also, you know, uh, we almost had an accident where I almost ran over uh, Shane and uh, we had a little bit of a conversation about, you know, being more careful and, uh, and trying to be more aware of each other on the job so that we don't have a situation like that again. Usually um, we're pretty good with staying away from each other, but um, for whatever reason, he thought I was gonna go one way, I thought he was gonna go another way, and I almost backed into him. If I didn't catch him out of the corner of my eye, if I didn't turn my head slightly and catch him right there, then I would have probably ran him over. So, um, you know, you don't wanna have accidents like that.